Hey, what's up guys? ALJB Gaming uh, here with some exciting news in the Dota 2 uh, community. The International 3 has been announced officially. Um, the International returns once again this summer to Seattle, where it was the same place last time, with a five-day main event starting on August 7th. So that is April, May, June, July, August. That's about three, wow, it's about three months away, actually. So teams probably will be training right now. They're probably going to be set in their uh, um, team lineups. They're probably not going to be switching people around in their teams. They're probably pretty much set, getting set in their roles uh, and practicing, practicing in boot camps for this tournament. Um, the first team invited to the International are the returning champions, Invictus Gaming, who beat Na'Vi in the championship game to take the uh, championship they won. Uh, Twelve more teams will be announced over the coming days, just like in last year's event. The winners of the East and West qualifiers will each receive an invite. Um, as you probably noticed, that only adds up to 15 teams. Right before the International begins, the wildcard event will determine the final spot in a match between the runner-ups of each qualifier. So there will be 16 teams total. Um, the West qualifier will be hosted by GD Studio from May 13th through the 19th, and the East qualifier by Beyond the Summit from May 20th through the 26th. So all matches will also be available for free through Dota TV. So that will be a very exciting time in Dota 2. If you are a Dota 2 fan and you'd like to get involved in this, that's when it will be starting on May 13th through the 19th will be the East Qualifier uh, by Beyond the Summit by Beyond the Summit, and will be available in the uh, client itself, Dota TV, so you can watch it in this client that I am in right now. You can watch those all for free. Those will be the qualifiers. And then the winners of the qualifiers will be um, going to the International and, um, yep, they'll duke it out, and the uh, final two will come up, and then they'll, they'll be a winner. So, it's a little more complicated than that. The bracket system is a little confusing. Uh, there's, like, um, winners and losers brackets within the actual East and West qualifiers, and then add those all together. And then there's a winner and losers qualifiers, and then the winner each from each one of those will go on to the championship round. So it's a little different. Um, once that uh, the brackets are decided, I will make a video on that, clarifying all of that for you guys and for myself, actually, so I can get a better feel on what exactly is going on there. Um, but that is exciting news. So let's see if there's anything else in that. Nope. So IG has been invited. Um, oh, so the West Qualifier will only be one uh, team coming from that then the wild card winner. Qualifier. Okay, so these are going to be the games that are going to be played first, and then the winners of these will go into these slots. And then these other teams, I'm not sure what th their qualifications are for the invite. I'm not sure. Um, I guess I'm not sure who's deciding that. Maybe Valve will decide that. Obviously, teams like Navi, EG, um, Only Tidehunter, um, teams like that will probably get the invite, but I'm not sure who decides that, actually. Um, there should be some sort of qualification, qualification, qualifying, um, stats that they have to have. I'm not sure how that's picked. But, yep, that's pretty much it for that. Huh. The runner-up in each qualifier will compete in Seattle for the 16th of house by the night before the international. Okay, so that's wild card, I guess. <laughs> cool. That'll be fun for them. That'll be an exciting wild card. So that is pretty much it for the news on the international. Any upcoming news that is announced, I will be updating you guys with as well. So thank you for stopping by. Um, this has been ALJB Gaming with a Dota 2 update. And uh, see you guys later.